Hello everybody, um, back again for uh, Wednesday, the January the 11th, and today's topic is the fact I'd like to discuss the ability of being able to help others and just simple little things you can do to help out when you're not tied down with that crazy rat race of chasing the almighty dollar to make giant house payments and car payments, especially the car payments to impress people at stoplights you're never going to meet again. So it doesn't always make sense, but um, one of the things my wife and I are doing is we're living a exceptionally, um, I guess, cheap life. We have paid for a house, cars, no credit card debt, none of that good stuff. And because of that, it's allowing me to not hold down a nine to five um, job at the moment. And I really noticed it being even, I don't know, a little bit more I don't know, rewarding, I guess, would be the word for today. Um, I was able to take my neighbor out to the hospital. She had a um, scheduled um, colonoscopy today. And as basically her one daughter lives out of state and doesn't care, and her other daughter, daughter lives here in town but doesn't care either. So it's one of those things that's kind of nice to be able to take her out there and, um, I guess, get her through that. Got her back home. She seemed rather upbeat. They informed her there was no cancer in there. Um, so the stress and thing of the worrying about the appointment really had kind of gotten her down a little bit. Uh, once she realized she didn't have cancer in there, um, she was really up much more upbeat. And it was nice to be able to actually be there for a virtually a stranger, I guess. Um, my, uh, I have an aunt, a great, great, great aunt that had owned this house prior to. And the neighbor has lived next to my aunt for, I guess, as long as I can recall. I don't remember her ever not living there. Um, we purchased this house a number of years ago after my aunt had passed away from my grandparents. They had inherited it. And my mom lived here for a number of years and really had nothing to do with the neighbor. They never became social, what whatnot. Um, my wife and I then kind of came in, remodeled the house, did a bunch of upgrades. Um redid all the wiring, put in better heat, um, all new plumbing, all that general just common stuff. Still I didn't have much to do with the neighbor. Um, her son passed away um, in that time frame and after that she just, I don't know, we still, we would, you know, say hi, how you doing as we walk in and out. Never really stopped and talked and chatted much. Then I realized she was having more and more trouble. Um, she wasn't driving anymore. She had a, somebody coming and helping her. Um, never her daughter or family in that. Uh, it was just basically some other friends, some people from church off and on would come. She was paying the neighbor across the street to mow her yard. Realized that, um, I don't know, she was paying, I think, less than it would have cost if you hired a complete stranger, but more than she could afford on the fixed income she had. So I started kind of mowing her yard off and on. Started driving her to the doctor, going to get her groceries, all that. Started becoming friends. Um, I don't know if I'd really call it friends. I guess it's kind of friendship. But um, call over and talk to her and stuff. You can tell she's extremely lonely when she's on the phone. So she, you know, it's hard to get her off the phone at times. But it's what you have to deal with, I guess. But the other thing that really, I guess, was nice is also after I went out, when I went to go pick her back up from the um, appointment today, I... Um, my grandmother was also in the hospital. She'd been there, I think it was eight days, nine days, something like that. She'd been in the hospital. Uh, she'd had uh, surgery that had, had some complications that caused her to kind of be forced to stay longer than they'd hoped. Uh, she was getting to go home today, so I was really excited about that. Also, um, I went ahead and left to take my neighbor back home. Had then went and did some other running I had to go do. Stopped by a friend of mine's shop. Hung out there for a little while, and then on the way home, I went ahead and called my grandparents, asked my grandpa if he needed anything while I was out, and he was actually heading back out to pick up some supplies and stuff for my grandma now that she needed for the medical condition that he had no idea where they were at or even how to find them. I was fairly close to that store, so I was able to actually run over and uh, pick those up for him, which made it really nice. Didn't make him go back out again. He was able to stay there, stay closer to my grandmother, and I guess tend to her needs and stuff. So it's just, I don't know. It was a definitely a really nice feeling to know that um, I'm able to help out and form them again. You know, same as I tell them all the time, the fact that my phone's on 24-7 for them. If they need anything simple, anything, you know, major. 
it's really nice to be able to be there for people. So basically, I guess the thing today is just the gratitude of not chasing that crazy house payments, car payments, all that kind of random stuff. So anyway, I guess this one kind of goes out to my wife as a thank you for the fact that you're not being a money hungry grubbing person that's always wanting to have the big fancy house, the big fancy car. We drive old but dependable stuff. Um, live in an old but I guess dependable house also. So anyway, that's what I know for now and hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm going to try and keep this up every day and get them loaded whenever I get the chance. So feel free to go ahead and click that subscribe button right up top there and comment and have yourself a wonderful and safe day.